Now, back to the action with the dog soldier. So now we got momentum, and we're just gonna keep on rolling. And we're gonna end this episode with the special coyote that we're gonna learn a lot from. We walked into this stand. It's really wide open. Steerman's been dropping us, and we've kind of just been bumping the hump. We found this little valley with some yuccas in it, which I like yuccas, and so do coyotes. I want to howl a couple times and go straight into the low jack. He's out there with them cows, I think. This coyote actually howled back, let me know where he was at, so then I was able to work him. I broke out the Legend 2J, we start doing our business, and we start taking care of it. Shoot him over here before he gets into that stubble. Oh, that's good. Now, if you hear me, I'm whispering into my mic while this coyote's coming in. I mean, he's lackadaisical. His tail's right, his ears are right, everything's right. So I really want you to pay attention to this coyote because when I say lackadaisical, this coyote has not a worry in the world. He knows there's a coyote up there, but he's just really toned in, he's locked in, and he's ready to be a movie star. He's committed. So if I catch you guys, if I kept you on the edge of your seat and I've gave you enough entertainment and you hear the awful, off the wall, unorthodox crap I say and you like this show, that's cool. But actually we can learn something. When that coyote got up here and his tail was a wagon, just like a dog walking down a sidewalk, I told you guys, I said, right there, you're gonna learn something right there. That tail's telling me he's lackadaisical, he's committed and it's gonna get him killed. He was just too laid back. I could tell by his body language. I've been doing this for 25 years. And when they look like that, they die. When he sat down at the fence, he could have been sitting down to maybe check things out. But I'll be honest with you, I pulled the trigger right when he turned around to, to scratch himself or do something. And I actually, I might have deflected the bullet off the fence. I'm not for sure yet, but it hit him, hit him a little lower than his chest. But I'm telling you right now, that hunt right there means the world to me because if you guys watch it, and you soak it up, you just learned something. I'm gonna go get that coyote. I am friggin' pumped. I mean, we called this, this was, this was perfect. And he comes in with that tail like that. When he comes in with that tail like that, I tell you what, man, it's just epic. When they, they come in there and that thing's wagging, it's just like they're holding the sign up and says like, oh, what a way. Whew, man, I tell you what, what a way to end an episode. Look at that. Whew. Nice coyote. What a way to end an episode. Get my hood off here. We, uh, 
We've been hunting all week. We've had a good week. You know, we started off, as you guys seen on past episodes, we actually called in 18 coyotes in one day and killed two. Um, I've said this over and over again, and I'm just gonna throw this out here real quick and we'll end it. I have a podcast. It's a Dog Soldier podcast. You can get it on Google Play, you can get it on iTunes, and I have a Dog Soldier app for any platform of cellular phone. So listen, listen to them podcasts. We did a good podcast the other day, and uh, I talked about being a good predator hunter, being a good coyote hunter, and about woodsmanship. And this right here, these set of hand calls I come out with has changed my life. Um, we're doing these in-house now. Me and Emily hand built every one of these and I hand tuned every one of these. And I'm talking 3,000 of them, guys. I mean, we've been working really hard. But when it comes down to it, just because I have my own line of hand calls or just because I'm on TV don't mean, don't mean nothing. I'm not better than anybody else. I'm like everybody else. But I really pay a lot to woodsmanship and I don't get seen, heard, or smelled before the stands and that's really the key, believe it or not. But more importantly, the whole fact that I do this for a living means that I get to screw up more. And I have the ability to turn them screw ups into positives and then I learn something. So when you guys call in coyotes, whether it's successful or not, play it over and over in your head. Eat, breathe, and sleep it. I can turn this coyote, even this coyote that was textbook, I can turn it into years of experience just by playing it over and over in my head. What can I do different? What could I have done different? How'd it go down? Yada, yada, yada. And I'm telling you what, it is awesome. And with that being said, it's over. This episode's over and we're not done. We're on a 15 day run across the United States well, maybe not. A, a few states. <laughs> so anyway, thanks for joining us, guys. We're out here on Dog Soldier. <sighs> Another one bites the dust. Mm. Another one bites the dust. Mm. I love it.